Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good morning, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. Today's much of the same uh, of what we saw over the weekend. Temperatures very warm in the 80s and low 90s and that humidity will continue. Although we may see a few pop up showers and storms in our southeastern counties this afternoon. We'll see other chances for pop up activity throughout tomorrow and Wednesday. Best chance overall will come tomorrow, but not much in the way of severe weather is expected. Here's future track. We've got the cloud cover in our southeastern counties this morning. There's some of that pop up activity right around noon, and that will continue through the afternoon hours. If we see these, they should be fairly brief and not really impacting much of the viewing area. They'll be very hit or miss and should stay generally to the east of Highway 151 and south of Highway 20. Otherwise, as we make our way into tonight and past sunset, those uh, showers and storms will dissipate. We'll see partly cloudy skies and we'll start off with partly cloudy skies for tomorrow. And then again, once we get past noon with the peak heating of the day, we'll see a few of these pop up showers and storms, but this time area wide for the day tomorrow. Still pretty hit or miss and won't really amount to very much. Uh, totals over the next few days should be generally less than a quarter inch of rain, uh, not picking up that much needed rainfall that we need. Humidity levels will stay a little bit on the high side. Mid 60s throughout uh, today, tomorrow and Wednesday, probably for the rest of this week as well. That is feeling humid, but not, uh, you know, very uncomfortable or oppressive. But then you couple in uh, the humidity with the heat, which temperatures are still going to be in the 80s to about the low 90s. It's going to feel uh, at most like the low to mid 90s in the afternoon hours. The worst of that coming on Thursday and Friday. Heat indices could get to about 95 degrees. So keep taking those precautions, drink plenty of water, uh, take breaks from the heat, uh, stay in the shade, all of that fun stuff, and make sure you wear your sunscreen. UV index still very high, about an eight or nine. That's burn time at about 15 or 20 minutes. So especially the kids, make sure they're wearing their sunscreen. For today, high temperatures will be in the uh, mid 80s, especially in the south and east to about the low 90s, that warmest air will be in the west and excuse me, west and northwest. We'll see a south wind today about five to 15 miles per hour. Then for tonight, lows in about the mid to upper 60s, partly cloudy skies, pretty quiet and mild for tonight. As we make our way into tomorrow, maybe a couple of degrees cooler as highs will be in the mid to upper 80s just because of that uh, cloud cover and the chance for showers and storms area wide. Wednesday, a, a lower chance for rain, still could see few pop up showers and storms. Highs will be in about the upper 80s to low 90s and our warmest air will come on Thursday and Friday. Thursday is looking dry. Friday, maybe a few more showers and storms. Highs will be around 93 degrees with lows in the upper 60s to low 70s. Throughout the weekend and into next week, we do look dry with mostly sunny conditions, but temperatures remain very warm, staying in the upper 80s and low 90s.